Welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing today? I have to redo this video because I went to watch what I uploaded yes last night and there was some funky stuff going on and the quality of the video wasn't great because I did it from another phone. So I will not do that again with that phone. <laughs> All right, I just want to stop on and show you what I've been doing. Um, <clears throat> I made mention that I make jewelry pendants for men and women with the seashells. And I want to show you. Um, if you want me to go through step by step at some point, just let me know and I will. But basically what I do is I take, I take um, all sorts of types of seashells. Now, it does, I don't care about perfect perfection when it comes to seashells, especially with these types of pendants. I l actually like the fact that they're so old and they have holes and they're cracked and they actually look beautiful, don't they? When they're all... So what I do is <clears throat> I'll put a bunch of seashells in a tin um, pan like that. You know those dollar pans that you can buy at Dollar Tree? Well, I get one of those. I lay all my seashells in it and I buy this um, shiny, this shiny spray paint clear varnish, and I just spray them all. I let them dry and turn them over, and I spray them again. And then I have a bunch of um, what do they call these emblems that I bought on Amazon. <clears throat> I think there was 200 of them for like under I think it was like eight dollars or something I'm not really sure I forget it was very inexpensive so these are two little baby these are two elephants and um, I just glued it on I used this time I didn't use the hot glue gun instead I've used e 600 it works pretty good and um, and then in the back, I, I glued that so it kind of stands up, you know, when you wear it and it doesn't fall over. Um, okay, so there's that one. Um, I did show you this one, right, in my other video, the first one I made. It was, it's a heart seashell it's really pretty and I put a heart emblem on it did the same thing to the back this is the hot glue gun glue I love this one this chain is too long so I just tie it I like to wear them as chokers okay um same thing with this it's all shiny I all I did was wrap um twine around it and I put my symbols on the back of it. It's health, health related symbols. Don't ask me. I forget. I never, I never wrote it down as to which symbol this was for. You know, what health condition. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do with this one is I am going to glue that star on there. I'm going to take that little, I'll show you what I do warm out here today okay all I do because they come with little holes in them so you can string them but I don't use that I don't use them that way so I just take wire cutters and I cut that little thing off some of them I'll use and I'll show you what I mean okay so I'm left I mean, this is the teeniest one, I think, that, that was in the bag. 
but this is a man's this would be a man's but I don't think they'll buy it or I'll have to give it to someone because there's a symbol in the back of there and I forget what it is but it won't hurt anyone anyways and I, I think I'm gonna put it either there or up here <clears throat> it's pretty cool huh so that's that okay now this okay let's see oh this one is not on a what i'll do is i'll put another um i hope the camera's the sun's coming in let me see there's a glare let me put that down a little bit i'll put another um round thing on that so you can string it through this way on a like a silver necklace so this is two shells put together this is the back and again I put that shiny stuff on it and I glued this top onto it and hot glued it all around to close up all the holes because and I glued a little dolphin on here because what I want to do is put, see there's a little hole down there? I want to put um, essential oils down there and wear it close to my, my body. So the essential oils, I can smell them. But I'm not sure if I'm going to sell any of these. Probably at some point. Of course, I can't sell this one because, I mean, who's going to buy that? all right oh here's another one i can't sell this one because there's another symbol on it so in the future what i'm going to do is when i do this i am going to write it down and take a picture of it so i just it was a simple i glued that string on there and i put a, a clasp on it it really tightly and I put a little what is that a little gecko some type of little lizard this is for a man or a boy you know anyway um I can't keep all these <laughs> okay this one is I love absolutely love this this shell I've never seen a shell like this white if I can show you what they typically look like yes I have one over there I'll have to grab it but this was pure white you don't find them pure white like this so I I um and I put glitter on it <laughs> just uh I so I glued this this rope on and in the back and I put some tie I tied this in the back it's it's a very natural beachy look right I want to show you what they typically look like let me grab it here never did I ever find one that's pure white like that that is just gorgeous I forget what these are called, but typically this is what they look like. They're brown. They're not white, except for that one. Ah, very special. So I grabbed it, man. I, I thought that was just a find. Okay. <clears throat> here's another, here's another necklace I did. A pet? No. What I did, there was holes in the sides of this one, because look at all the holes in here. So all I did was took two pieces of this twine and glued them into the hole. And this is, um, I left it long. You know, some guy might want it. 
and um, I'm either going to put that on it or where is it? Oh, I put it back in my bag. It's a it's a um what is it? Yeah. One of those. We don't have a lot of boats here in this location where I am. But you never know. I think that's pretty cool. So, anyways. That's that. What else did I do? I think I, I think I might go with the um the boat. Okay, um, this one I'm debating what to put on it. Another, this one, I didn't put the shiny, I didn't spray the shiny stuff on it. It's just um, matte, just natural. And again, this is for a man. I'm not sure if I'm going to put anything on this. Um, I don't know. I don't have much men's stuff hanging around. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. Just experimenting. Here's another shell. Very, very old shell. And it's in its natural form. I didn't put any shiny stuff on this one. And I just... I think that's pretty cool. Just simple. <clears throat> Um, what else? What else? What else? Okay. Oh, this one is really pretty. It's an orangish, yellowish type of color. I put the shiny stuff on it, and I put this beautiful half moon on it. And I have to um, put another piece of <clears throat> one of those circle things on it. I forget what they're called. This is, <laughs> I was experimenting. I don't know if anyone would wear this, but um, it's a big sand dollar. And I put a little dragonfly. And... I just tied it there so it wouldn't go through, and I tied it here in the back. I kind of like the back better than this. I don't know. I kind of like that natural look. I might change this one, this one around, see all the little natural things on it. I might turn, I might, I don't know. I wish it wasn't painted because it doesn't show the natural markings on it. So this one, I all you got to do is put it through this, put this through. I put it, this is a glass bead. And it'll just hang in the back of you, in the back of someone. You know, if you have a low cut back uh, shirt on or a dress, that will look pretty against your back, against the back of the skin. <clears throat> okay, this is a sh old, and it's all dirty, but I just wanted to show you. It's dirty because of this glue I used. Um, this glue is kind of tacky as it dries. If it's not dried completely, it gets tacky, and what happened was... It got dirty with sand, so it doesn't look the best. Oh, and there was another piece on it, and it broke. See that? So this is just an example of what you can do also with seashells. This was beautiful at one point. It was all wrapped up. I don't know I what happened to it. I forget. But, um, of course, I can't 
I can't use this. And that glue is not the best look. It just... I think that glue is specifically for something. I'll have to read the directions. But anyways, I glued pieces of crystals in here. That pink one and then that little quartz. That little quartz crystal. So that's another way you can play with make your own pendants. You can put crystals on them. It was absolutely gorgeous when it was done. Now it doesn't look so pretty. Um, this is has that lacquer on it, that shiny stuff. Another heart shaped shell and a separate old, old shell with holes in it. And all I did was glue these together because I thought they looked perfect. And sorry about the noise, that's my bunny. Um, and I put two little swans on it. What I'll do with this is I have to go grocery shopping and buy them some lettuce. That's why they get agitated in the morning. This is um, suede. And I will... I'm thinking of doing it red, though. I'm not sure. Putting a red, you know, like I did with this in the back. Having it to be a choker. I don't know. I think red would look, look pretty cool. Like if someone was wearing a red outfit or something. Like a maroon, rust color maroon. Okay, and then this is a man's. It's really, that's a shell. That's really fascinating, isn't it? And I just put this thick twine on it. Guys like that stuff. <laughs> Rustic. Rustic. Um, oh, I, I like this one. Did I show you? Did I just show you guys this one? Yes, I did. Yeah, I like this one a lot. I'll probably keep that one. I like it. Um, and that's, that's about it. Um, I color with gel pens. I was doing that last night. I loved, I love coloring with the gel pens. Have two hundred of them, <laughs> and they're all glitter. I love the glitter. I want to see. I'll show you what I was doing. I was doing a lion, and I'll frame him. He's all glitter. Can you see the glitter? I don't know if it comes through. No, I don't know. I can't tell. Looking upside down on it. Oh yeah, there it is. You can see it in the sun. I love lions. They are my spirit animals. Okay. Um, so, they sell these alone. They have the class already on them. I got a few of these different colors. You can buy these at like Michael's. Um, I have so many. Oh, and I started making. I started making um, a little doggy. I was going to put ears on them, but I didn't do a great job. I think it's the paint. I don't like the paint. I don't know. I'll have to fine-tune that one. Um, anything else I want to show you? Oh, cockle shells. See the size of this thing? I'm using it right now just to hold seashells. Oh, yeah. Look at this. See this? I found another one. It's similar to this. 
I am going to make a pendant out of this one with um and I'll make a pendant out of this so pretty I have so many so many shells so this oh and this look at this I don't know if you can really see the sh how shiny it is inside this is called I think this is called a baby's ear can you see how fine isn't that beautiful And I want to, I want to make this as a pendant somehow. So pretty. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Which ones do you guys like the best? You can put that in the comment section. Um, I'm, I will probably consider selling some of these. I love that one. That is so pretty. I haven't figured that out yet about selling these, and I love this one. So, anyways, I can make tons of these because I find these all the time. This beautiful shell right here. Anyways, the, these are called cockle shells. And typically what people do with these, I found a bunch of these. I, think I did a video on this. Um, this is huge, size of my hand huge what people do is they put um they make candles out of them but i don't really want to do that i don't think i was thinking about making a smaller version of the this but paint it all star all silver inside and then glue all this um like glitter around it this beautiful glitter garland type of material and use them as um, like beach beach um, wedding favors and they can put like bags of like little candy those almonds in it or something but the smaller one this is just way too big <laughs> plus you don't I don't know how many of these big ones I have but I have a lot of smaller versions of these So that's up and coming. Um, see, here's another back in for one of these. Isn't that gorgeous? You can put any type of essential oils down in there. So let me know which one you like the best. I like this one, this one. This one, this one, this one, this one. I think this one, will, this kind of like has a pink sheen to it. If you catch it at, in a certain direction. So I think if I was to make that shiny, that pink will come out. I like that. I think that's just simple. <clears throat> all right. And this one's going to be beautiful when it's all done. That will be cool too. So many ideas. Here's a little baby one. Those little baby ears. I think that's what they're called. And here's another one. It's yellow. Here's a heart jingle. Okay, so um yeah, I'm going to upload this one. Get rid of the other one. The other one was awful. I don't know what happened to it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's the other phone. That's why. <clears throat> the other phone's not the greatest. So, um, um, I'll be back with another project soon. You guys have a beautiful day. Anything you want me to... I, eventually, uh, like I said before, I'm going to put my email address in the bottom. And... <clears throat> a love donation. I accept love donation. Um, 
and I'll put that information also. And um, yeah, and eventually I'll, I'll add my other webs, um, YouTube channels on. But anyways, I will do that soon. But in the meantime, you guys have a beautiful day and I will be back. Okay.